Alright, so this is the Oracle of Seasons Weekly Randomizer Race. Today we are playing Hard Mode, Randomized Dungeons, Randomized Portals, with Key Sanity. So we are playing essentially what we call Max Rando, minus Full Entrance Rando. Joining me in the race we have Dragon and Fiery. So we got good race today. Uh, should be an interesting one. I haven't played hard mode that much, so we'll see how it goes. Thanks for the good luck. Okay, starting with a sword, that is good. <laughs> Early sword is always good. Not too bad so far. We only have access to one item right now. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is the better play. It's probably not the better play, but just in case we do get the rupees for um, buying bombs or something to buy rupees. Like, something that lets us buy bombs, then we can go ahead and get the southeast chest right now. It's all gonna depend on what we get here. Okay. So that was a not a great play because we're gonna have to go around the the uh, snow here. But this up here is going to definitely be progression. After we get this, that'll set everything into motion, I think. That's what I thought. So we're gonna be able to go all the way up to Blano and area and that area. Get a bunch of checks while we're on the way. We got winter there. Doesn't help us. Doesn't do anything for me there. Uh, yeah, let's just see which version this is. This is, okay, Dimitri. So that works. That works for us. Good. 
because we're going to be able to get all the way into Sunken with this. here. You know what? Eyeglass Lake Portal might be our play. But I at least want to go this way and check everything out over here. At least see what the Eastern Suburbs season is. It's winter. Okay, so that means we can't go that way. Or it means we can go that way, but we might get soft locked. Let's just see what the Let's just see what the portal is. That's gonna determine if we can get out. Okay, we should be able to get out of this. Floodgate key. Wait, what was that other key? D2 small key, okay. Let's go ahead and check the exit here. Just make sure this is actually doable before I commit. I'm assuming this is gonna lead to Eyeglass Lake. Or no, it leads up here. Well, this is interesting. I think, I think we have to go back. There's just a really good possibility that we would get softlocked there. Even though there's items to get, I still think we, we might get softlocked if we do that. So yeah, progression should be on Eyeglass Lake Portal right now. In the dungeon. Interesting. And it's Dungeon 2. That gave me summer. Which then gives me access. Okay, that makes more sense now. So getting summer gives me access to that whole area of Subversia.
unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go the long way again to get over there. Oh, actually, Summer does give me one more check. I want to do that before heading over there. Just in case this ends up being, like, the bracelet or something. That's mystery seeds. We're gonna go ahead and check this. That is something we need, so I'm gonna hold on to it. Just in case Dungeon 3 ends up at Dungeon 2. That is a very real possibility. So we're gonna go down here. This should be fine. Let me see what uh, Woods of Winter is. It's summer. Okay. I can get the one item here. It's a D8 small key. It's D3. Okay. Interesting. As soon as I get something that gets me past the first room, we can do a lot there. Yo, Bat, what's up? You know, I wonder if I checked these checks, if they would have uh, given me something good, and I wouldn't have had to come back here later. Like, Autumn, okay. Not the one that I was expecting, but it's a decent one. Thank you. 
And a slingshot! Okay, there's our progression. I should have I should have checked the temple before bailing out of here. Okay, we have default scent seeds. I'm gonna have to check dancing, and then I'm gonna check... Well, then I'm gonna leave out of this portal here. We'll, we'll check dancing, we'll check the mountain uh, check, and then we'll leave out of that portal. Head backwards. We'll be able to do a lot of stuff. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm not paying attention. Mostly because I was forgetting to mark something on my tracker. So I was thinking of the tracker and I was like, wait. <laughs> I think I'm up to date. There's 20 rupees. That gets us bombs. Okay. This is gonna be fun. This is already, like, a tracking mess, so... <laughs> I'm just trying to stay on top of it. Okay. Now, we're going to leave through the Eastern Suburbs portal, which is going to take us to Mount Kuko, which we can then go backwards to get back into Sunken City. There's nothing I can do up in Mount Kuko right now. I could. You know what I could do? I could just go ahead and see what the item is in the moosh area. See whether I need the banana or the cape. No, I don't. Okay. So that's nothing. Now we can get out of here. We can start getting seeds. We can get our bombs. We can start doing a lot of things now. a very, very weird start. Getting a power ring, okay. What seeds were here? Pegasus, okay. Is 
so we're gonna have to go backwards. Because we don't have any other types of seeds that we can use right now. Because, uh, West... Woods of Winter is... Gale Seeds. So that doesn't help me... Actually, it does help me. But not quite. Oh man, either way, this is gonna be weird. Oh, I haven't done Blano yet. Or even seen what the tree is. Okay, it's embers. That that helps me a lot more. Actually, I should probably save inside Blano. So I don't get whooped back. Since we have Ember Seeds now, this makes things a lot easier. I'm not going to have to go get those uh, Mystery Seeds right yet. I'm probably going to want to get the bombs, um, and then probably go to D2. I either go to D2 or go to D3. key is this? D7 small key. Okay. We'll grab that on the way back, I think. Yeah, I think we go to two. There's not that many things we can get into, though. I think... No, you know what? Let's go to three. Let's go to three. We can do most of three. We can't beat it, but we can do a decent amount. Doing this much of three is probably a little bit better than doing, like, the one or, like, two checks that I have available in two.
no matter what happens here, it's a pretty slow start. Oh, I can't go that way. Forgot. Oh, I forgot I have to do it this way. So I might as well save that one for last. Okay. So there's only two more checks we can get in here. I'm hoping at least one of these has some kind of progression for me. It's not that one. The rod can be used to kill undead enemies, so like the Stalfoses. like the Shrouded Stalfos. It's not very useful. Oh man. But it can be used in certain situations. Let's not die this time. Hopefully this has something, because I kind of went out of my way to get this. Small key for D4. Well. So this was a waste of time. Looks like I'm going to want to go to D2. There's one item I can get right over here. It's 
not going to be too hard to get. Of course it's nothing. Okay. Uh, there's really no reason to do Maple Encounters, unless, of course, you're playing Ages and you just want to get that potion. But even then, uh, the potion is only in Logic in Ages, if you have the Graveyard Key. Unless you're playing Hard Mode. In which case, you might have to do the Maple Encounter. Alright, so there's really not too much I can do here. There's only, like, two checks I can get. But there's the bracelet, so we can finish the dungeon. Okay, or not finish the dungeon, but we can do a decent amount of the dungeon. We don't have any keys, so we can't actually finish the dungeon. Any item I w uh, that's in ages that I wish I can get in seasons? Um... Oh, there's a, there's a small key for the dungeon. That is interesting. I would definitely like the cape in Ages, that's for sure. Um, as for an item in s to go to Seasons... I would say... The Switch Hook? I feel like the Switch Hook could have some uses. do something weird here. Instead of going to Facade, I'm gonna check these two checks real quick and see if there's anything behind these. Because if there's nothing here, then we don't have to worry about that key. And then we can actually go ahead and do Facade. But with the Gnarled Key there, that's another dungeon access. In, in fact, I'm going to hold on to that. Uh, I could, I could go get that one item 
before facade. No, no. I'm better off coming back when I have a key. Oh man, we have we have a couple dungeons to be to access right now. Let's check over here real quick. Bracelet really opens things up now. It's vanilla. Okay. Vanilla D5. I'm pressing the button. <laughs> there we go. another weird one. Like, we can't do too many things here. Oh! You have to walk all the way around? Oh, man. something about those moving floors that are just really weird. At least in terms of like your inputs. I didn't buy a shield. Ah, uh, gonna have to do some jumps here, or take damage. Either way. Alright, so this is the last check I can get in here. After this, we're gonna have to go somewhere else. We can do the summer checks right now. Summer checks, not bad. This is such a weird seed. <laughs> the routing that I've had to do has not made any lick of sense.
And of course, the routing that I've done isn't even great. Like, I could have gotten... Yeah, I could have gotten the slingshot on my first visit to Subrosia and swam backwards and I would have been fine. But instead, I took the cautious route and thought, you know, maybe... Maybe that would have been... led to a soft lock. Alright, let's see. Dungeon 4. interesting to me because we have a lot of Dungeon 4 keys already. So we can do a decent amount of this dungeon. Could be useful. Probably not. So with three keys, worst case, uh, we can at least get the mini boss portal. Yo, mighty with the host. Thanks a lot, my dude. Yeah, worst case scenario, we at least get the mini boss portal. Thanks for the good luck. This has been a interesting seed so far. I've had to do a lot of circling. Okay. Don't need the shield, but it's nice to have, I guess. In case I run out of uh, Gale Seeds. But I shouldn't run out of Gale Seeds near Dungeon 3, because there's a Gale Seed tree right there. Compass for eight, okay. I'm 
seeing a, a little bit of a trend here. Seeing a lot of things for Dungeon 8 coming up. I think we got map compass already. Plus a couple of small keys. Maybe we're going to get access to 8 soon? Yeah, th this is, uh, key sanity. So, keys can be shuffled anywhere. This is a, a specific version of the randomizer. That was a, a very timely health refill. I'll take it. Alright, so we got a 50-50 here, whether or not we keep this key or not. Is it possible to get through this without Pegasus Seeds? I assume so, but we'll try it. Maybe not. I mean, we maybe if we don't stop and kill keys, but we'll see. Yeah, it's doable. Okay. Okay, I traded for a D6 key. Let's see what the other one is. Let's see if the other one is anything else. The other one is something other than the six key. Or like something that gives us some kind of progression. Maybe I'll keep that one instead. Oh man, imagine like the entire 2D spectrum <laughs> in a uh, multi-world. Like, oh yeah, I just got your flute in Dungeon in Palace of Winds. I got your your recorder for for <laughs> Zelda One. Yeah, no seeds, no cape. Three jumps in a row. Three pixel perfect jumps in a row. It's fun. I think I can maybe make this one? Yeah, okay. Alright, there we go. That's something. Small key for D8. I need more small keys for D8 for sure. Uh, either way, we're gonna <laughs> need those keys probably. So we're, we're bailing out of there. Um, oh yeah, we can do that.
Yeah, this is Key Sanity. Plus Hard and Dungeon Portal. So it's a lot of sanity. Or lack thereof. Oh, there's a D4 key. Uh, we're not gonna go back there just yet. I think I want to go back to Subversia. Because I think, if I'm not mistaken, the second item from the market is something that we need. Yeah, hard mode, I generally don't like doing hard mode. Because there, there's some things that hard mode just adds that aren't really fun. But for the most part, it's fine. Alright, let's see what it is. I'm pretty sure fifth item is nothing. First item is a key. And that, yeah, that's floodgate key. Okay. And then that one is D2. St <gasps> oh! That's our D2 key. Hmm. Okay. You know what? I can only get one more item in D3 right now. I think we're better off going straight to whatever's at Dungeon 3. That seems like the best... best play right now. Minish Cap is fun uh, if you play with like Ruby Mania on and Open Fusions. I feel like that really adds to the flavor, makes it a little bit of a more unique style rando where there's a lot of like bounty areas where you're gonna get a ton of checks really really quickly. And yeah, ice in Minish Cap is awful. Oh yeah, we can get our Mystery Seeds here. <laughs> I forgot that Mystery Seeds were sitting here for the longest time. Yeah, you do kind of have to spam a little bit in Minish Cap. But it's not too bad. Especially once you get, like, your spin upgrades with the Great Spin and whatnot. Then you can just start Great Spinning everything. Let's go ahead and see what dungeon we got. Hopefully it's something we can do a decent amount of.
It's Dungeon 6. Okay. That is interesting to me because now we might have to go back to get that key. Yeah, if only I had the key. Oh, man. I mean, it's fine. We'll do the first loop. Leave, go get the key, come back. Probably. Unless we find something else. I forgot to mark that. Okay. That's why it wasn't showing up. Yeah, without that key, we can't really do much in here. Ugh. Okay. That actually gave us some progression. A lot of progression, really. Uh, we can't continue in two yet. But we can now finish three. Um, let's go get our key from four on our way. The only movement thing I don't like in Minish is the cape. If the cape was more like Season's cape, it would be a lot better. But since it's like very restricted, it's not as fun. Get this key. Alright, so we can finish up three, and while we're finishing up three, we can hit up a few things over there. Um, yeah, it definitely feels like the other D4 key is somewhere nearby, but it doesn't matter where that D4 key is until we get boss key as well. Because we can't do anything with it until we have boss key. Oh wait, I can go in this way. Oh, I can also grab this chest. D5 key. Okay. I might as well use the shield, save our, save our uh, Gale Seeds. Also, let's key check the Mimic Room. See if we're going to need that key. Double check, make sure I save. Wait, why am I using that? Why am I not using Fool's Ore? Uh, you know... That could lead to... <laughs> that leads... 
that could lead to progression on, on Moblin King. But I'd rather finish a dungeon right now. Yeah, we, we'll just find Swimmer's Ring. That's exactly how we'll do it. Yeah. Oh yeah, now that I have the bracelet, we can go ahead and get this check, too. Okay. Let's beat the dungeon. Let's go ahead and beat this dungeon. Get our first essence. Only an hour in. Yo, Mia, thanks for the good luck. How did I miss? Okay. Okay. So we got a dungeon completed. We still might have to go back there with the other key. Um... It's pretty awful. Oh man, I haven't done any of the Master Diver stuff yet. I just realized I have not done any of the Master Diver stuff. Is there anything else I can do here? Okay. Oh yeah, it's definitely great. Let's just check the cave. I just want to see what's in here. I know if I go in, I get soft locked, but we're just gonna save beforehand, just see what it is, and we're not we're not even gonna get get the item. We'll just get knowledge. Knowledge is power.
It's a jewel. Oh man, we're gonna have to come back there. <laughs> we will have to come back to get that. That is good knowledge. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Keys in this game is so much worse than Minish Cap Keys. Oh man, if I got the Dimitri Flute, I wouldn't have had to give them bombs. And I would have been able to do this. Dimitri Flute is actually <laughs> better progression than getting the essence. Okay. Well, we already know where one is. The other two are in D2 and D5. Okay. Got it. There's our D2 key. Okay. Well, it looks like we're going back to Sabrosia. <laughs> we're gonna get that D2 key. We're gonna see what Rosa has to offer. And then we're gonna circle right back around here. <laughs> because that's the only way. Uh, actually no, we can, we can then leave. We can then leave back this way. Now that we have uh, Ember Seeds. I only had to do it that way because I needed to get to Sunken. Alright, so D2 is clearable. We can beat D2 now. After that... We probably go to D6. And see how much we can clear out of that. What do you got for me? <gasps> oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's so beautiful. I love it. We can finally go fast. Yeah, Gales and Pegasus, so that means we can technically, we can technically get those, uh, that jewel. Because we can Gale away. That might be how I'm gonna get out of here. Ooh.
and our first boomerang. Let's go. So yeah, let's go ahead and get that jewel. And then we're going to go straight to... Uh, which dungeon do I want to do? Six or two? Probably two. I'm really good at this. Really good. I'm so good at it. Yeah, let's let's do two. Cuz we can beat it. We can beat two. What still shows as yellow on the tracker? Uh, only if you're checking in normal mode. It, it was green for me. Because I had it set for hard mode. I wonder what this chest is, because I bailed on this chest earlier. So I'm, I'm really excited to see what this is. It's the other jewel. Oh yeah, remember, the other jewels are here and Dungeon 5. So that was the jewel that we needed. Okay. I, th I guess we go into 5 after this. And check and see if we can get the jewel out of there. Probably doesn't matter too much. Because we're still missing seasons. Still might be worth going into Dungeon 5 after this. I 
Is there anything I can get in there? I mean, I can get one check. Maybe we're better off not. Just going and checking six. I mean, I am right here. I probably should check it while I'm here. Because this also gives me good intel on how many keys are required for Dungeon 5. Because if we need to use this, then we may need all, all keys. If not, then, you know, maybe we won't. Yeah, might as well check it. And then we'll go to six, check the path, get all those checks in six. Okay, it's nothing. Cool. That's one less key that we need for that dungeon. That's good. That is very good. That also means that the final jewel is still locked. Locked behind either cape or magnet glove. Or more keys, in general. Ah, that was bad. I'm gonna die. I did die. <laughs> Wait, why? Why was I doing that? Why was I doing that? There was no reason for me to do that button. Because I can just do this jump. Oh no. Oh no. You know what that means. I probably <laughs> need to go searching for old men and rupee rooms. Oh, never mind. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. So progression is probably there.
Oh, I can't do North of Spinner. Because I don't have Magna Glove. So this is the last thing that we can get while we're here. Unless this is Magna Glove. If this is Magna Glove. Okay, it's not Magna Glove. Uh... You know what? While I'm here, while I'm here, I'm just gonna go grab the Ruby Room. Just real quick. I feel like this might be slightly faster than doing like two minutes. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we even need the rupees. We might not even need the rupees. It would be funny if we didn't, but... You know. Chances are we're gonna need them. We need 500. Okay. D7 boss key. And... Maybe not. That's the Z0 key. I should probably get it. Either way. Yeah, I, I should get it. Then go straight there. Because I can also get Black Beast while I'm over there. So we're gonna run over there, we'll do Black Beast, and we'll check Hero's Cave. And then from there... We're gonna have to decide on stuff. Nothing. Okay. Alright, I, th I have an idea. And it involves... A cave that I left for last. Last time. We're gonna do Mushroom Cave. And if it's not here, I think we, we head up to Goron Cave.
Okay, there's the final D4 small key. So we don't have to worry about that. And now let's head up to... Goron Cave. And then, on our way back, we'll go that way. Yeah. Okay. That works. Because I think Temple Remains might end up being our progression at this point. Like, going into... Um... to the lower portal. Yeah, lower portal might be our, our progression. Okay, so we can't go that way. Or no, wait, we have fall. We have fall. Wait, we, we don't need... And it's default winter. Does that mean anything? No, th that doesn't mean anything. We need to be able to change it to, f to winter. Or no, wait, it's winter! Uh. No, that's not gonna get us there. No, it's not gonna get us there. I keep. This is so weird. Uh, where can I go now? Oh, Sabrosia. Yeah, let's go to Sabrosia. We can do some stuff in Sabrosia. Yeah. I need either need winter, or I need to be able to throw the bomb. Or I need cape. this is it. Well, that's not progression. <sighs> Unless I have to do this. Uh, yeah, we're gonna save before doing this. Yeah, we're going to bomb flower now, I think. I don't know how to do this bomb jump that well. That's why I'm... I've been avoiding it. Oh, come on. Oh, that wasn't too bad. That actually was not bad at all.
So this is probably our progression right now. Unless... Hear me out. Unless that portal... Unless the portal is progression. Portal leaving, leading to the top. So that we fall down to go to the bottom one. And that takes us... To, like, pirates or something? Yeah, that, that's probably our progression right now. It's gotta be this portal. And this portal has got to be... Oh wait! I still haven't done Spool Swamp Portal. I haven't seen Spool Swamp Portal. I haven't seen this portal. This one's lower. Okay. So that tells me... Enough. We want to get to Pirates. So it's got to be Spool Swamp then. This has got to be where we need to go. It leads to the pirate side. So yeah, this is definitely our progression at this point. <laughs> so either... Pirates portal is vanilla, or it's top of temple remains. And then the other one is volcano. So either way, temple remains does not matter. I'm hoping this is Vanilla Portal, because then after I talk to the pirate, I can go straight out and go straight to Desert. Because that's my expected progression at this point. It is possible that progression is going to be somewhere on the side. Uh, either Spring uh, Tower or the Wilds Check. Or wait, can I even get Wilds right now? That's a four tile. No, I can't. I can't do four tile yet. So I can get Spring. I can get Spring Tower. And then it's got to be Desert.
if progression's not in desert, then I don't know where it is. Yeah, we're going desert. Like, our progression has dried up just like a desert. Alright, please be vanilla. It is. Okay, that's good. So volcanoes at the top of Temple Remains, inaccessible. Don't need to worry about it. Holding up delayed the cutscene from happening. <laughs> like, after I had already pressed it three times. In, in the one check in D2? Or is it going to be here? Whatever we find in the other check. I'm betting on D2 at this point. Interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and do it. That's gonna get me the most things. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, it's not gonna be bad. We opened up the shortcut. Opening the shortcut really makes things a little bit better. Imagine if we had to go all the way. All the way back to Spool Swamp. To go ahead and get give the, this back to the pirates. What dungeon are we going to find? I'm kind of expecting 7. Like, Vanilla 7. Vanilla Bell into Vanilla 7? Or could it be just the one and done Dungeon 1? Just go in there, beat the boss, get out, be like, whatever. 
Five is vanilla. We already found five. We're missing one, seven, and eight. Okay, we can at least do a bunch in one now. I'm really hoping it is one, because one is going to be our best dungeon. It is, nice. Alright, that's beautiful. Okay. That's the thing that happened. Stay away. Bad. Oh! Ooh! Uh, we don't have any more keys for six, so we can't actually get to Vire. Not yet, at least. Furnace. Alright, we're gonna clear out one fully. Uh, other than the mini boss. We can't do the mini boss yet. But we might as well clear it out. This is the most checks we have available right now. That's a okay ring. And a key for five. Still can't do much in five. Alright, there's one more check we can do. Alright, we're going to six. We can full clear six now. Oh, aside from the boss. Oh, we don't have boss key. We can at least get to the mini boss and do fire. Yeah, that'll be fine.
there's still so much that's locked behind magnet glove or cape. Okay. That's fine. Whatever. Small key for five. So we have one more check and then mini boss and then we gotta get out of here. Small key for seven. Done here. We can do Winter Cave. Winter Cave now. While we're here, right? We can do Winter Cave, we can do Holly. Another D8 key. What else can we do after this? We can do furnace. Furnace is a thing. Oh, now we have spring. Ooh. Oh wait. Yeah, let's go spring. Spring up there.
That's gonna let me get a decent number of things. The only problem is I'm missing Dragon Key, so I can't get into the dungeon. As soon as I get Dragon Key and the Square Jewel, well, as soon as I get Magnet Glove and Dragon Key, I'll have access to every dungeon. Because the Jewel is in Dungeon 5 and it's Magnet Locked. Might as well. It's... could be useful. Okay. I thought we had just gotten the compass for that. Uh, where do I want to go now? Oh, Spring Cave. Yeah, Spring Cave is probably where we want to go. After this, maybe we pop back into D2. Yeah, let, let's pop back into D2. Grab ourselves some more seeds before we go there. There's only the one check left in there, but might as well do it now that we have all the keys. Like, at this point, we're just kind of cleaning up everything that we have available. Looking for that one little bit of progression. Not a key, unless it's something we don't have compass for. It's a map, okay. 
so we're done with D2. Yeah, I think we have to go <laughs> go to the furnace. Uh, probably still the fastest way to get to furnace is going through here. Every other way has a lot of overworld movement. Like, we are ver scratching the very bottom of the barrel, looking for progression here. After this, I think this is the only thing I have available. Yeah, last check. And there's the magnet glove, okay. Of course it would be. That opens up basically everything. So we're going straight to five, because we know the final jewel's there. That gives us access to a new dungeon. This will definitely clear the dungeon. Now the question is, just how many checks do I have to get here? There's not too many, okay. Oh, we can't beat the dungeon. We don't have boss key. Of course we don't have boss key. Okay, we, we can beat six now. So after this, we go to six. Hopefully we do find the jewel. Do I clear... If I do find the jewel, do I clear out six? And then go Tarm? I think I do. Oh, we can clear out four now, too. Well, we'll do that first. Because that's right over here.
All right, here's the question. Will this be anything? Or will I get to keep my keys? Because if this is nothing, then all we have to do is find boss key and we're done here. If this is something, we're going to have to find the other small key. Uh No, we're not taking it. We're not taking it. Keys are more important right now. Having to find another key versus just finding the boss key. Could definitely outweigh the amount of time that Noble Sword saves. Really? The last hit. And it's D5 key. Well... <laughs> there's the D5 key, so we can go ahead and get that Noble Sword now. Yeah, we're not getting that right now. We'll get it later. Maybe. Wait a second, that jewel is on the boss. Jewel is on the boss. So we need to find boss key in order to get up to Tarm. <sighs> Don't you love it? Let's just go beat the boss. Let's just go beat the dungeon. Then we'll come back in and get the two remaining checks.
great fight. All right, there we go. What item are we gonna get? Well, it's a manhandler. So now, we can just jump right back in here and get ourselves a couple more checks. There's Dragon Key. Okay. Well then. So that's the, another dungeon we can go into. Alright, before I go into a dungeon, let me go do this one check. This one's gonna be real quick. That was a good key. Alright. Actually, wait a second. Let's do Subrosia. Yeah, this is gonna work. This is gonna work better. If I go through Subrosia, I can get a few checks along the way, and I can get up to Mount Kuko. Best case scenario, I want to find Cape. I know it might not show up, but I would want- I would like to find it, if possible. I know these two dungeons are doable capeless in the hard logic. I just kind of don't want that to be the case. Going in anyway. Mm -hmm. 
Gonna have to go in capeless. Probably gonna want to preserve my Pegasus seeds a little bit, just in case. I think I'd prefer seven capeless or like seven here because I feel like I can do a little bit more in seven even without the cape Alright, here comes the moment of truth. Seven or eight. It's eight. Okay. This'll be fun. off these keys so they don't bother me. Alright, we got that one first try, that's good. All right, it's a small key. At least we don't have to do this magnetless. That's good. Ooh, another key. What could it be? The boss. We got boss key. Okay. Well, we're gonna save before we go through here. Honestly, capeless D8 might not be as bad as I think it is. I mean, I'm sure it's bad. This area in particular. Alright, we made it through there.
Okay. Good peach stone. That was a very good peach stone. If I'm over here, I might as well do it this way. Oh yeah, I actually had to do that. In order for me to get over here. We gotta get this, like, first try. Or... Let's go into the mini-boss first. Yeah, let's do Fry Polar first. Thanks for the good luck. Yeah, this is, a uh, Difficult Seed. Mostly because it's hard mode. It's hard mode with everything, so of course it's the long one. Alright, cool. So we ki kill Fry Polar. That's gonna give us a save point. So, if things go poorly here. First try. Because that's the only way we could progress. <laughs> oh, that's great. That is literally the only way I can make any progress in this dungeon. Oh, I have to remember the... Oh yeah, okay, I remember now. I was like, I have to remember the solution to this, but I <laughs> didn't remember it. Now, I, I, I remember now.
Oh, doing the side scroller without cape. This is gonna be fun. Should I even do this? I should go. I should just go into the next section. Cause I I have two keys. Let's just go here and see what we can get here. Yeah, that area without cape is not fun. In fact, most of this dungeon without cape is not fun. It's doable but not fun. And this is also why I don't like hard mode seeds. Just, it just adds to the length of the, the game most of the time because you have to do stupid things like this I mean of course there are hard mode seeds where the only hard mode thing is just minipping the shop item which is fine I'm fine with that But when it ends up being you have to go through everything without any items, it becomes a very long and boring seed. So we know there's some keys around here. You know, there's a key here, there's a key down there. Uh, the third one I haven't checked yet. Alright. So that's the boss key for D5. And that's the final small key for D5. Okay. And heart container. Okay. So it's either check this or leave and go do five. I think I want to do five, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. I'll give it a try. We'll see how it goes. If it goes poorly, we just reset and do it again, or go do five. Thankfully, I do, like, remember some of these strats from <laughs> from when I, I used to do no HSS skip. But it's not fun. Nothing about this is fun.
All right, the final item here is a Gasha Seed. Yay. All right, we're going to five. We'll be back. We need more small keys in order to actually do anything here. So going to five, that means we're going to be able to go to s uh, Tarm. We're going to be able to go to Tarm after this, because that's our, our square jewel. And then after Tarm, uh, we'll see, I guess. And since I'm back here, uh, we could totally go get the Noble Sword. No point leaving it there, right? Noble Sword will help us, at least for Onyx. And Fiery has finished already in a official SRL time, 2 hours, 33 minutes, and 5 seconds. This is why I don't like hard mode. There's some really dumb things that you have to do. And I'm sure he's very familiar with it. All right, so let's go ahead, make our way to Tarm. We're technically, I say technically, as in technically don't need the cape. We're technically in key mode and the only keys we need are for D8. We can get all the way through D7 um, with the keys that we have. I would like to find the cape for D7, but I know that's that might not be a possibility. If we don't find cape, I may not be able to beat the seed. We'll try, we'll try, but I have never fully done capeless D7.
There's a key. That's the final key for D8, uh, D7. Okay. Still need those D8 keys. That does not help me at all. Alright. D7. Please be nice to me. That's all I ask. Why are they spawn so far apart? Come on. <sighs> of course. Of course I'm starting to get keys for all these other dungeons. Except for Dungeon 8. Alright, there's one. We need one more. Of course not. Why would it work? It doesn't matter because we do have all the keys here. So I don't have to worry about post -gap. Okay, that compass is useless. 
Let me see what's over here. It doesn't have a tune. So it could very well be our cape. Could also be absolutely nothing. I mean, I'm gonna have to full clear this area anyway. Okay. Okay, <laughs> so I have every key except for the one that I need. Yeah, this is a very awful seed. Yeah, you, and you did warn us. That is very true. But GG anyway. Yeah, the, the, the hyper slingshot location was amazing. Exactly. And of course the one key that I need at this point is the final key still. That's nice. I don't like this situation though.
I'm not going to be able to do this, I don't think. We'll, we'll try for a little bit, but... Yeah, this is not looking fun. It's easier if you're coming in from the left. Okay, we made it. Alright. Still got one more thing to do. Gonna go back up to full hearts. Just to make sure. I don't know how this works. I really don't know how this, uh... This jump works. You use the top corner. This one over here. Okay. Oh, this this seems fun. Oh, cool. I made it. Yay! <laughs> we did it. <laughs> we did it. Shout out to Cableists. Yeah, once you understand what you need to look for, it's not too bad. But it's still dumb. Uh, Dragon's also in the race. still out there somewhere. Great. And Dragon has just finished. Second place, official SRL time, 2 hours, 50 minutes, 37 seconds. GG. Where, oh where, is the stupid key at?
Please tell me it's here. No, it's not. Okay. How do I do these jumps? <laughs> I know there's like a specific thing you have to do for this. Like landing specifically on the edge. Oh yeah, that's actually not that bad. And then I screw it up. I say it's not that bad, and then I screw it up a hundred times. I'll fall down the pit after every switch, apparently. There we go. Is this jump possible? I don't know. Does it keep it the same? Oh, it looks like it does. You have to bomb jump this one. Can't do vanilla strats without the cape, right? Can't, you can't get over there. Oh, wait. <gasps> you can do that. That works. <laughs> I thought that just stayed on the bottom. <laughs> well, you learn something every day, don't you? And there it is! <laughs> Alright. Now I gotta get back there. Oh, let me get some health first. Let me get some health. Yeah, we're in go mode. Yay. I'm so happy to be in go mode.
Yeah, this was a, a very, very nasty seed. And this is an example of why I don't like playing hard mode. Well, we've got all our keys. All we got to do is finish this ice puzzle. And then... Go to the end of the game. You know it's a bad seed when the three runners in the race are all finishing about 20 minutes apart from each other. Like, Fiery finished, like, 30 minutes ago. Dragon finished 10 minutes ago. And I still have probably about 10 minutes of gameplay left. Maybe a little less, but... Yeah. Yeah, so probably about like seven minutes or so. We got all the essences without the cape. We finally did a seed without the cape. Oh, uh, we still have to fight Onyx, and fighting Onyx, capeless. Uh, we do have. We do have uh, Fool's War, so that'll help.
You haven't found Cape in weeks? Maybe you should look harder. Well, this one was entirely your fault. The normal mode ones, you definitely could have gotten cave. But this one, yeah. This one, since it was hard mode, it made sense. But you could have definitely gotten cave the past three weeks. Oh, I only have five bombs. Shows how much I care. Where was Cape? Oh, thanks. Hardor? That's the only... Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> it's the only thing that's left. I literally did everything else. Hardor is the only thing remaining. Hardor was yeah, it was in D8, the first the first check in D8. Yeah, we could have done HSS go. That's true. But that would have involved bailing on D8. When it feels like that's the only thing progression-wise. Like, when I went into D8, that was the only thing that I had available. So I was like, I'm just gonna go as far as I can through there. I need to remember how to do this with just Feather. I mean, I, I could do that, but I know there's a way. Yeah, okay. Well, we got bailed out, so it's fine. GG. Finishing in third place, official SRL time, 3 hours, 4 minutes, 59 seconds. Ugh. Now I never want to play hard mode ever again. That was the only thing that I needed to check off my hard mode checklist. Uh, capeless seed. So, now I'm never playing hard mode. I mean, unless I practice capeless. Yeah, early sword. Yeah, it was great seed. Great seed, early sword. Early sword always means a great seed, right?
Yeah, capeless and the HSS statues. I got both of those first try. Yeah, with with Ember Slingshot, they're it's really easy. Yeah, the, the platform moves up. <laughs> it goes, it actually goes around the room. It, it, it makes Capeless uh, a little bit easier for, for that. The only thing is, like, I still think that one room is the hardest part about Capeless D7. The the one with the, the tiles. Maybe I'm just bad. I have a very odd route through there. Maybe I should actually watch someone else do it so I can figure out where I should be jumping.